launched their newest highest end phone the OnePlus 8 Pro taking another step up in the letter of their phones getting slightly more expensive every year but alongside it they also dropped the OnePlus 8 which is sort of like a premium mid-range phone that starts at number 699 phone switch to it give it that treatment that's gonna be a tough failure to make without respects for the highest in performance on one phone and we still have a very familiar OnePlus design and experience here to Bazel have their logo on the back and still things like the alerts let that I'm surprised more phones haven't copied yet still oxygen west when my favorite clean and redskins with all of its features so it stopped plus would have been it takes always been with one plus pounds one that their cameras are always just not quite measuring up to the flagships and to that they always tend to leave out the sort of start from the top with a new design for the one plus 8 pro you can see it here I really like a lot of it the new matte finish and his blue color are pretty sick I don't have a lot of matte blue phones but this one is nice punching clean so is easily my favorite blue phone in this finish is nice doesn't really show too many fingerprints of course you can also grab this culture mad tear don't scan from a channel sponsored the brand which also feels great and you can see the wireless charging coil in the back plus it's also got a few easter eggs hidden in the design which are pretty dope but anyway yeah the shape of the phone is boxy which i've always really liked plus there is this new little design accent ridge into the top of the phone so j not as ugly as some of the others out there it still is pretty big, like it's annoyingly rocks on the table big for sticking out of the phone that much like our point that you're looking at the new display which is an upgrade to pretty much all the ways that count but also technically technically a slide down grade to so this is a 6.78 inches 1440p 120hz amyloid display and it's really really good one plus and display may say it's their most color accurate display ever know the best one plus they've ever given can start to sound a lot like the Zomark at this point but I believe you colors great calibration for 2024 all these new flagships which is the smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate plus 240 Hertz touch sampling rate and it is awesome I'm looking forward to this couple specifics on it one yes it does let you run both high refresh rate and high resolution at the same time and that's exactly what I've been doing 1440 P at 120 Hertz at the expense of battery but you now live your life then yes it is technically a very refresh rate so even when you have it set 220 Hertz just like last year it will step down to 60 Hertz occasionally when you're just sitting around not doing anything or if you're on the home screen or if you're in some act that won't use that like waves or Google Maps or Snapcat or a game or something then yes there is still an optical thing operator underneath that screen it doesn't appear to be any bigger or faster but still fairly reliable for me and yes the edges are still curved over both sides and this is my least favorite feature of this display I still get. Accidental touches like, really I do realize the idea is it looks cool and it's edge lists and futuristic but it's time to slow the down I think Samsung's perfected that balance this year between curving the glass a little bit and still having a flat working surface with no accidental touches just sent and also by now from all these beauty angles of the screen certainly have noticed that hole punch camera in the top left corner for the selfish shooter for the one plus eight pro take the was the pop-up camera will be to look a little bit more like the other flagships to be to save a little bit bit of money maybe to guarantee the IP68 water certification maybe just a little bit of all these things also some idea so all of the OnePlus 8's internal specs are high and on top and Snapdragon 865 8 or 12 gigs of fast LPDDR5 RAM is that super fast UFS 3.0 storage and the battery also gets an upgrade because on top of all that it's a 5G capable phone with 120 Hz big display so you get a 4510 million OnePlus phones are known for having fast charging this was no exception you still have their high speed work charge 30 tons comes in the box and that gets you from zero to half battery like 25 minutes that was new to the stone is while high end and wireless charging tech and to be fair works exactly as advertised the stand is nice it has some little quiet fans in there and it does some special voltage and thermal management to get the peak 30 watts wireless charging out of it but if you put another Kai enabled phone on that wireless charger charge is slower and if you put the OnePlus 8 Pro on any other wireless charger it charges slower because that tech was proprietary 48 megapixel main camera with OIS then there's a 48 megapixel 
ultra wide with macro mode which fun fact is the same sensor as the primary camera from the OnePlus 7 Pro then is a 3x telephoto camera and believe it or not the fourth one is a 5 megapixel color filter camera so that's your ray go ahead and say spitting out sharp 12 megapixel images with nice dynamic range and colors a bit overexposed sometimes that's where but generally these are nice photos also sign in advance for slightly less outdoor photos both shelter and place quarantine thing clearly means I also have less people subjects but yeah you can tell this isn't a confident nice camera no autofocus issues at all especially given some light and even sometimes when you don't it's nice I like it you are still going to get more fringing with close-up subjects I take a lot of photos and that's the downside of the big one over 1.4 and sensor but again that just seems like par for the course for flagship cameras right now big sensor usually sharp photos but get some fringing on your photos are close up subjects the night mode is pretty good which is nice max zoom is 30x from that telephoto camera how things are usable at 30x it's barely passable galaxy s20 ultra still to be the zoom chant for that sort of range but hey 10x is fine in 3x is definitely usable and i have pretty much no use for the hat color filter camera the celtic camera the other passport I usually draw is also good especially with color and stabilization at 4k and see no 8k video here but you are not touching the iPhone when it comes to the absolute best video quality in a phone right now but this is still good flagship quality favorites specifically because of the software and optimize experience is Oxygen OS on top of Android 10 and that's no exception here for this phone there's tons of little tweaks and optimizations and improvements and little tightened up and nations all over the place but never feels overloaded like some other overlay oxygen os shelf to the left of the home screen and it's just google's discover page now megapixel and there is really high quality haptics in this phone again i love that and then software there's just a couple new software features here and there that are nicely executed there's a new dark mode 2.0 theme some new dynamic wallpapers tucked in there and just a lot of aesthetic tweaks generally but they do a good job of not feeling overly cartoony and then there is a new motion graphics moving toggle that works with certain apps you can see the whole compatibility list here for my phone and it worked pretty well when I tried it for like 2 minutes I feel like I'm against 